guys, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today, we're going to react to Season 7, Episode 4 of Supernatural, entitled, Defending Your Life. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes. Last episode, the girl next door had a very not satisfying ending. Um, something I felt that was unnecessary. Something I felt that was, I can't say out of character, but it, it definitely just it didn't hit, I think, the way they wanted it to. Or maybe it did. Regardless, not happy with Dean with the decisions made. I feel like that may come back to bite him in the ass at some point. But uh, we'll keep it going. You got to remember, the Leviathans are out there. Cass kind of gave up you know, his his God power, but the Leviathans held on. All his other souls are back in purgatory, so that whole thing was wiped immediately. And, uh, yeah. I haven't had Crowley in two episodes. We'll see if we get him back, or Death, or anybody. But for now, I'm going to put Jerry behind the scenes. Let's not waste any motion. Let's get into it. I thought that was Sam for a second. I was like, how many times are going to open an episode with Sam sprinting for his life? I mean, my brother was booking it. You know how fast and hard you got to run to get past a car? Man, was out here like, mink, mink. Oh, no, it's Route, Possible. It's route 666 all over again. My man's running in a zigzag, too. How about that, Rickon? Huh? Smart. Smart. Big brain plays. My fucking car will be in the stairwell. <laughs> fucking car gonna be it. Your bed's gonna be a car. Oh. No! Supernatural. What a goofy ass opening. Copping the wire something. Hey. Dumbfounded. No arguments. Thought I brought my water in here. Nice, Other one. You know? We're due for a little cut and dry. Where are my and, subtitles? Uh, That's what I'm looking for. Shit. And you, Amy. I know you didn't want to let her go, but it was the right thing to do. I hope they don't just drop that, and I hope that's something that does come back to bite him in the ass, as it should. Welcome to Crazy Town. This out. AA, ten years. Damn. Dead and sober. Double crappy. There's a um. There's a charge keeps. Just so y'all know out there, ain't nothing crappy about being sober and getting sober. I got a lot of peeps I've met in my life that have went through addiction. Got a lot of peeps that have gotten sober. Celebrate those victories. Hit them with a hip hip. You know what? And if you are sober, I'm proud of you. Do yourself a favor and make your body proud of you as well by taking a sip of water. That's right. Put the water in your body. If you're gonna drink, might as well drink some water. What's the name of this again? Defending your life. I got I got nothing for what it could be. Meet Elizabeth Duran. I don't think she had anything to do with it though. Right then. Wow. So who was she? Right. His daughter. Oh, he. All right, there it is. Boom, boom. He was drinking and driving, and he killed a ten-year-old girl. And he didn't go to prison for that. <laughs> because why would he yeah how many times do people fucking get away with drinking and driving and killing somebody it's almost like it's not illegal it's insane it's insanity it is mind boggling to me I want you on it back in the motel May 11 2001 search results Elizabeth during one article killed during a driveway accident police have Ruled the death of Elizabeth Duran, 10, an accident. The girl was hit by a car last week while riding her bike past a neighbor's driveway and was killed instantly. She was just riding her bike up and down the block, said her father, George Duran, 47. She loved doing that. I usually watched her from the kitchen window to make sure she's okay. You turn around for one second. Elizabeth was a bright student at Edison Elementary in the advanced reading group for her third grade class and played on the school soccer team. Elizabeth will be missed not just by me and her classmates, but by the entire school, said the deceased teacher. The deceased's 
teacher, not a dead teacher saying that, but you get what I'm saying. Evelyn Jackson was the teacher. Uh, she always had a smile on her face and a helping hand to lend. She was the sort of kid that stood up for others. I wish the world had more Elizabeth Durans, but instead, we just lost the lovely one. The Elizabeth Duran Memorial Fund has been started in the child's honor, and the family of the deceased has asked the donations be sent in lieu of flowers. Elizabeth would be happy to know that her death was not meaningless, assured her father, and that the college fund for needy children will thrive under her name. Despite an onpouring of support, the community... The Duran family remains in a state of shock. I can't believe this, said her mother, Vanessa Duran. That's it. Flame on! This guy probably didn't beat a puppy dog to death or some shit, Mike Vick style. Uh, so I wonder... Hmm. wonder what's causing all of it. Somebody... Mick Owens, Irish pub. Weren't we there before? They reused that pub. That was the upstairs of the mannequin, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, they should definitely. Uh, I got nothing. My dog won't be in the stall, huh? Nine one one. What is your emergency? I need help. There's a dog. They got that damn have? dog yeah, after me. Know, um, some restaurant somewhere. Um. Sir. Oh, he's a good puppy. Hello, what a beautiful doggo. I your ass. Yeah, just let her know. Sir? Sir? Wild animal attack last night. It is a dangerous world out there. Oh. He was in the restroom of a diner. Yeah, this is um, <laughs> Almost, Dean, you almost got a split second of shut eye. None of the patrons saw anything. The guy calls 911 screaming about a dog, but the operator didn't hear anything either. Wow. Looks like this guy had a history with dogs. Meaning? Five years ago, he was arrested for running a dog fighting operation. Classy. All right, so. Womp uh, womp. This does make sense. Vengeance on the guy that Michael Vicked you. Me and Dean are locked in. I mean, I'm no one to judge, but it sounds to me like that guy had it coming. Dog Shelter thanks volunteers for effort. A local dog shelter is acknowledging its volunteer this week. After a successful fundraising effort, the shelter has been at capacity the last three years, and volunteers have been generously taking dogs home with them until they uh, can get adopted. Due to lack of funding, the shelter had to put a expansion. Wait. Had to put expansion efforts on hold. This would have included a new facility with 112 kennels and an exercise area. After this weekend's event, $32,209 was raised for the new shelter. Christopher Fisher was present. The, the local heroes... Oh, wait, sorry. <clears throat> Christopher Fisher was presented the Local Heroes Award for his many hours of volunteering and commitment. In 2006, Fisher was arrested for operating an illegal dogfighting operation and was put on probation and heavily fined. To make amends for his past, and he began volunteering at the shelter for community outreach groups that helps find homes for unwanted pets. I am incredibly grateful for the citizens of Dearborn for giving me a second chance. Dog fighting operation, shelter, look at all this stuff he did. Christopher Fisher. Huh, people change. Tell that to ghost dog. You know, for two people that live out of a fucking duffel bag, their uh, suits are always pristine. Coming. I'm gonna check the bar. To work or drink. Oof. I haven't decided. You saw Sam's glances from earlier. He was looking at him drinking. He's been doing a lot of it. Cool. Until I get back, okay? It'll protect you. How? Just trust me, okay? I'm trying to help. Stay put. You couldn't have put a damn circle around something a little bit bigger to give him right, some leg hey, room? Hey, Shit. Listen, I'm sending you some symbols to look up. <laughs> my man got no room. Oh my goodness, you couldn't have gave him a cup in case he got a tinkle. Excuse me. Hey Bobby, what do you got? 
Those chicken scratches. Definitely Egyptian. Book of the Dead. Bobby, are you at... Good news, then. Is that... The Jeffrey Dean Morgan's little hideout place with all his trinkets? They identify the god Osiris. Real authoritarian type. Yeah. He gets a hold of you. He's judge, jury, and executioner. The lore says that he can see directly into the human heart. He weighs, weighs the it. If he finds more than a feather's worth, boom, you're done. Mm -hmm. So what's he doing in Dearborn? Well, it seems like he just pops up and does his circuit judge act and then disappears again. Right. So either you get to go to that beautiful field or you just go to damnation. Hopefully your heart's not too heavy. That's all. No, it's nothing but a ground ball. You just gotta put your mitt down. You are Dean Winchester. This is what you do. Fucking yuck. That was such an odd, such an odd third, shadow. Pull. Third message. You better not be loaded. Call me. This is important. No, oh, he called out for Sammy. Warrant. Speaking of, you're gonna skulk all night, Sam. Sammy. Sammy, what are you Sam? doing? Sammy. Nice job finding us. I assume you figured out who I am, too. Yeah. Yeah. Osiris. You want to fill me in? Osiris. He's an Egyptian god. Ta-da. But you see, the, the most important Egyptian gods has nothing to do with Osiris. You know the three. That's Slifer the Sky Dragon, the Winged Dragon of Ra, and Obelisk the Tormentor. That's it. Those are the only real important Egyptian gods. All the other ones, fooey. Hong Kong fooey. Now go about your business, Sammy. Look, if anyone should be on trial, Sam, you're not a lawyer. The truth. That was pre law. That's true. Yeah. Pre. Uh, the truth is about to come out about little Miss Amy Pond, isn't it? All right then. Prosecution calls Joanna Beth Harvell to the stand. That's fucked. Dean. Sam. Hey, Joe. Long time. Oh, the third person's gonna be Amy. State your name for the court. Joe Harvell. Prosecution calls Sam Winchester. Ooh, Sammy. Sam, Sam, Sam. Sam. Sam, not exactly the life you expected, is it? Details a little different. For a while there, you're gonna be a real lawyer, married Jess. Yeah, that was a long time ago. But were you, were you not? Happy Many out moons of the ago, brother. Until Dean showed back up in that gas guzzler. Uh -uh. The truth now. Don't be shitting on the Impala. Oh, Jess. When your heart's heavy, let me tell you, real punishment, some mercy. I want to call Dean to the stand. Oh, you do now. There is an order to this stuff, you know. Okay, I'll allow it. So, Dean, when you came and got me, did you know Jess had died? Or any of it? Of course not. Right. How could you? I mean, are you psychic? That's a question. No. Uh, definitely not psychic. Great. It's so a good why start. why would you feel guilty about not predicting the future? Or have we had enough? What the hell is he talking about? Enough Ally McBeal. Just drop the hammer, will you? Wait, Dean, he's giving us more time. It's not going to make a difference, Sam. You need another moment? You done? Courts reached a verdict. I find you, Dean Winchester, guilty in your heart, and sentence you to die 
Bam, bam, bam. Just you get your affairs in order quickly. Very quickly. How can you overcome that? You have to have a conversation with Sam, and Sam's gonna be like, "You did what I couldn't do. You did the things I couldn't do." Dean, it's okay. Sammy, it's not okay. All right. And then that's where we'll go from there. What do you got? A way to give Osiris a dirt nap. Good. We need it. As near as I can figure, it ought to put him down for a couple of centuries at least. It's worked a few times since the pharaohs were big. So it's temporary? Long temporary. I say we slap that band-aid on and leave finding a cure to some hunter in a spacesuit. Uh, Now you're going to need to stab him with a ram's horn. A ram's horn? Where am I going to find a ram's horn in Dearborn? No clue, but make sure it's a sharp piece. I'm guessing you, you're not here for bar mitzvah lessons. Uh. Did you beat up the old Jewish man? How did that confrontation end? I just gotta leave it up to my imagination. All right. Okay. Demon. Ninety percent. Get rid of that with that. You really want to die not knowing? I get that she's dead, but why her lips gotta be chapped like it? Dean. Yeah. It's time. There goes the CGI gas. Oh, yeah, yeah, gonna make you blow up kablooey style. Oh, no. Oh, uh, look at that shit. Is that thing melting in the back? she have to do this I, i'm so confused can she choose not to what does he do from there it, it, shouldn't he have like teleportation or something not his zippo one flick and it's over with Yakum. yuck Mummified. Will she feel the sweet release of Osiris? Gone. Yeah, your brother saved your life. You don't even have to. Joe? Joe? Sammy? <laughs> Let's cut to them sitting at the car looking at him. <laughs> so, uh, it seemed like. I don't know, like she was in pain. Mm. No. I spent a lot of time feeling pretty crappy. Yeah. My whole life. What, do you have a secret stash of happy pills? Hell. Look, I'm not saying it's logical. I just, you know, I feel like I, I did a lot of stuff I should have felt bad for, and then I paid a lot of dues and came out the other side, you know? And that worked. I mean, you really feel like you, your slate's wiped? No. Not, you know, nothing ever gets wiped, you know? I, Sometimes I see Lucifer when I friggin' brush my teeth, but I don't know. I guess I just finally feel like my past is my past, and I can move on with my life. Yeah. Well, you are going to be a pleasure to ride with. A little drinking and driving. Sam's not gonna throw his can away. Yeah, throw it in the back seat. Fuck it. Trash up the car. Convenient trash. Did they drive until they saw that trash can, by the way? Or how did that work out? What a weird fucking episode from start to finish. Uh, it is kind of lackluster that Amy Pond wasn't brought up, you know, that she wasn't there. That wasn't the final witness and Sam didn't learn about it this episode. If like a really, this is a really good way to do that and nip that in the bud and get that storyline completed. Unless you want to drag it out for a little bit. I feel like something with Osiris and Egyptian God, or like they even had with Odin and the other gods <clears throat> two seasons back is bigger things that should last longer but in this instance it just doesn't and it's just not going to it's just that's it the whole judge scene i guess was meant to be comical i felt weird i don't know it felt out of place but it was good to see joe again so i enjoyed that learning about dean's guilt learning that sam is free of guilt is always good this is just a case by case thing the person playing Osiris was fun. I'll give him that. But everything else just, it felt, I don't know. 
weird. What happened with Sam and the Jewish dude with the with the, with the ram horn? Investigating a string of gruesome murders, Sam and Dean discover the vengeful Egyptian god Osiris, who puts uh, Dean on trial for his past mistakes. Uh, all in all, like just just overall, we we probably could have done without that. Just saying. We, we, we probably could have just done without it. So, yeah, let me do this. I'm curious real quick. Okay, I was looking at the guy that played Osiris. I, yes, that's he was in Iron Man. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bro, I knew he looked familiar. Hold on, here's my guy right here. That's him in Iron Man. Like kind of like a pseudo big bad for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Anyways, listen, that, that I was just looking that up for shits and giggles. Uh season seven, episode four was entitled Defending Your Life. Season seven, episode five is entitled Shut Up, Dr. Phil. And I'll see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.